Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm your host, Dilly of Panda Gaming, and welcome back to the Panda Gaming channel. Now, today we got a brand new video headed your way. Of course, you know, basically, you know, every time you see a notification, if you have the notification bell clicked, you know that it's going to be a new video. But that's irrelevant. Let's get into the topic of this video today. Uh, today, I want to talk about the new armor sets. I know I'm kind of late, and I know it's been a while since we last uploaded, but once again, you know. Trey has a busy time. I'm get, starting to get really busy with work and whatnot. It's it's getting it's getting a bit chaotic, but um, we think that by the time maybe football season is over for Trey, it should be less busier for him. And um, with me, it's just you know it's just work and school. That's the only thing that's fucking me up. But either way. Today I wanted to talk about armor sets, as I said just a couple minutes ago. The new armor sets more specifically. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already seen them, which I'm sure you have, I will display all of them on screen right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you them. And uh, yeah, I'll be back as soon as I can and as soon as this uh, clip will let me. Alright, here they are. Okay, so that should give you a pretty general summary on what they look like. If you're wondering where DLC heroes are at, meaning like Shaman or, um, you know, any of those characters such as, you know, Highlander or Armusha Shinobi, they're, I, apparently they're not getting any until later. Um, I guess that's the case. And if you're wondering where the Vikings and the Woolen armor will be, they are coming this Thursday, so I will be making a video on those two. Um, the armor is not out in the game until Marching Fire, which, speaking of which, I did pre-order Marching Fire the other day. Um, but, so I want to talk about these armor pieces, alright, because there's a couple issues I have. I like, and I mean really like, all the knights. I like Wardens, because Wardens has got like a Magneto fucking face opener helmet which makes him look cool i like conquerors conqueror just looks like a big necromancer now it's kind of fucking awesome uh pk i love that you can see her face i'm sure she had more armor sets than just two uh i think that's all i could really find um i really like lawbringers because lawbringer has like an apollyon-esque kind of look to him now like he looks like he wants to be apollyon or if not wants to be like, um, like he could be Apollyon. Like, you know, how the story goes with Apollyon that she took her armor from a law ringer and had a blacksmith fit it to her body. It, it's kind of how it looks, you know. She looks like that, it will, it looks like that kind of law ringer style, and I like it. I really do. Um, speaking of which, I should probably mention that law ringer now has a cape, too. Uh, I know you guys didn't see it, but, um,. Yeah, he has a cape now, so that's pretty cool. Alright, now on to the samurai. Now, I have a couple issues with the samurai. First off, I want to say that Kensei. Alright, we're on Kensei. Kensei's is not my favorite at all. Like, I don't like Kensei's that much. And the only reason I don't is it's the Pennywise looking one. The one with the red hair and the, the mask. Like, yeah, I know you're trying to make it look like a Kabuki... Which, you know, if you don't know what a kabuki is, it's like, you know, Japanese people would like, they would paint their face in red and white. And they would like, you know, it was theater. It was like a, you know, like plays and stuff like that. 
Then the second one of Ken Say's I really don't like. It just kind of looks like he's always shocked or something. I don't know. And then the third one is the only one that I actually like with Kensei. But all of them, really, they're not the best. I, I personally like Kensei's armor now better. I was expecting, you know, maybe give him a Kensei helmet, like a samurai helmet. And then just take off the mask and let his face be, you know, shown. But no, they gave him a mask that isn't even armor. And not to mention, he doesn't wear armor, I guess, anymore. I don't know, guys. I really can't get down with Kensei's at all. It's just not my favorite. I don't like it like that. It's just, it's not me. I don't like that armor. Maybe they'll add some new armor that is, like, full-on samurai armor. And if so, you know, praise the Lord. But, like, I really do not like Kensei's new armor. So now we're back on Orochi's, and I realize I mixed up Oro I mixed up Orochi and Shigoki, but we'll talk about Orochi's first. Orochi looks like he wants to play fucking Counter Strike. Um, it's the uh, the one where he's wearing the I guess the balclava. Um, yeah, that that one's kind of stupid in my opinion. I don't really like that one. But the other two with the Rochi look phenomenal. I'm not gonna lie. They went with the whole Oni look with the piece of armor on his back instead of on his uh his left shoulder. I think it looks really cool. It's a sick armor piece looking thing. I I like it. I really do. I really do like Rochi's. I will admit that. All right. Shigoki. Now, once again with the Shigoki, I like Shigoki's facial uh, features, like his head, like his armor, like on his face and stuff like that. Like I like how they added like the the half mask and stuff like that. I like that. But at the same time, he's no longer wearing armor. His chest is fully exposed. Which, let's be honest, if this was a real, you know, if it didn't, ha if we didn't have health bars in this game, as if it were in real life. One stab to it with a, one stab with a sword to the stomach with that guy and he'd be dead. There'd be nothing you could do about it. I like to see armor in this game, not just hey, look at me, I'm strutting around without armor. That's kind of fucking retarded. Um, yeah, I just I don't really like that armor piece. I really don't like Shigoki's. I don't like Kensei's. I, uh, I like Orochi's, but. I don't know. The only thing I like on Kensei is that he has the like the Oni helm, and even so, I don't like that that much because I, when I want to play Kensei, I want to play him as like a real samurai. I want to have him have the samurai helmet. I don't want him to run around looking like he's a fucking actor for a theater in feudal Japan. I want him to look like he's you know a samurai. Um. So the other thing is. Oh, yeah, that's right, Nabushi. Now, Nabushi's is probably the best one out of the samurai, in my opinion. She shows her face. She's a very elegant and, you know, just worthy, good-looking, you know, character, I guess you could say. Um, I, I really like Nabushi's. I really like Nabushi's. She's cool. She now has armor, like full-on armor instead of just wearing a coat. It's cool. I really like Nabushi's. Like, I can't express that enough. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion on most of these new armor sets. Know that I really don't like Kensei's like that. I don't like most of the Samurais. But I do like a lot of the Knights. And I do, I'm do. i sure I'll like the Vikings. It just all depends on what it is. We'll find out that on Thursday. But once again... Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You guys are amazing, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.